Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 10th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. We're always starting out here looking at our sun, 304 angstroms, as we do have still eight sunspots earth facing right now, and as well a couple coronal holes to talk about getting ready to turn in. We've also got plasma filaments taking off from the north here after a plasma tornado was spotted here and as well here northeastern limb of our sun and then watch as this one rips away right there and as well another explosion on the back side of the sun we've seen multiple solar flares over the past 48 hours current space weather conditions we are under r1 radio blackout it's are expected and as well, just recently, we did detect an M-class solar flare. So two M-class solar flares the past 48 hours, multiple C-class flares, and solar flux is definitely up. We'll get another look at our sun here at another light. Multi-spectrum. This is where we do have a southern coronal hole here region and as well building we have an equatorial coronal hole just in the last few frames so here we're able to see two m-class solar flares and as well multiple c-class solar flares coming from 3354 very active sunspot region and as well i showed you the last video we did have a very large sunspot region cresting in the southern hemisphere and that is now at an earth facing view. Current look at our magnetosphere for pressure. Solar winds are hitting us at about 327 kilometers per second right now. And not much pressure on our planet with that slow solar wind speed. Space weather conditions, 329 kilometers per second right now, but notable here, 191 SFU solar X-ray flux is definitely high, 10.7. Showing here the most recent solar flares, moderate M-class solar flare and a slight M-class solar flare just detected in the last few frames here. Solar X-ray flux is heightened Geomagnetic activity sitting at KP2 right now, coming in to July 11th. We are expecting a space weather event tonight and into tomorrow. Give a quick look here at our latest ISWA space prediction spiral, showing the backside CME blast towards Mercury. And that is an intense CME blast from the backside of our sun. This is Earth, a little yellow circle right here, and Mercury coming around the backside of the sun. Earthquakes for the past 24 hours, just recent, about two hours ago, reporting a 6.6 .6 earthquake east of the Virgin Islands. Large 6.6 .6 earthquake rocking Codrington, Antigua, and Barbuda followed by a 4.4 I believe aftershock just southwest as 4.2 just southwest of the epicenter of the 6.6 .6. and another one just recently east of Puerto Rico Virgin Islands reporting 3.3 most recent was a 5.1 here East Pacific Ridge earthquake here down in the South Sandwich Islands it was a 4.6 quiet across the North American plate not too much to talk about sizable 5.1 earthquake Iceland and we've seen over 2,000 earthquakes in the region but just recently it has slowed down especially after the 5.1 here but still, eruption may be imminent through the region. A 
Also looking at a 4.0 earthquake here. Severnaya Zemla, North Russia in the Siberian Sea, north of Siberia, North Atlantic Sea. As well, lots of activity here through the Philippines. Most sizable through the region was 5.0 at Samar, Philippines, 71 kilometer depth. And as well, Tonga region, seeing some pretty deep earthquakes today as well. 538 kilometer depth, as well 580. So expecting a larger shallow earthquake to follow, or it may have happened already with the 6.6 .6 here. Budos. Nothing major to talk about across North American soil, no major swarms. Most of the activity is here, just north of a subduction zone. We've got a couple of volcanoes that are showing signs of unrest through that region. Looking at Pele, and as well. Soufriere. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. We've seen a lot of deep events through Fiji. Increasing activity up into China, Tibetan Plateau. as well most notable all the increasing activity here through Iceland the mid-atlantic ridge and just recent with the 6.6 .6 barbudos just wanted to show you here this is a look at all the active and erupting volcanoes across the world also showing volcanoes showing signs of unrest there are an active and erupting 48 volcanoes right now. Give you a quick look here, a closer view at all of the earthquakes that are occurring at Iceland. North of Fajradas Folly from the last eruption last year. Another one six hours ago, 5.2 Iceland, Fajradas Folly updated to orange alert level and as well wreck jane's volcano brought up to showing signs of unrest july 7th and the same day ld volcano this is submarine volcano very small island volcano just off the tip of iceland that was updated that day as well so two more in one day showing signs of unrest through Iceland. This is Volcano Discovery, showing all of the earthquakes and active volcanoes across the world. Looks like we do have some activity here, growing towards La Palma, South George, Azores Islands, Portugal. These are all in the last four hours but just recently 2.4 2.5 so a small swarm occurring west of sao george and la palma la palma's right here so active day across the planet for earthquakes and as well volcanoes as we have 48 that are active and erupting across the world A quick look at weather here. Show you what's going on as we do have quite an interesting situation developing through the northeastern United States. Massive flash floods occurring through New England and northward into Maine with a huge low pressure system here being fed with more moisture from a large low pressure system south of Hudson Bay. You can see straight across from northern BC and the Yukon, a lot of upper level smoke is being swept across Canada and the United States, heading into Ontario right now. 
No major tropical systems. Tropical disturbance 94E is active and heading straight westward. Other than that, there are no major tropical systems here developing. Quite a big dust storm heading through the Atlantic Ocean right now, coming off of the Western Sahara. And you can see that those dust particulates are now moving into Guatemala. And it doesn't look like it's going to let up over the next few days. So wildfires still burning through northern BC, Alberta, and the Yukon up in the Northwest Territories. But we've also got some fires that are burning uh, through eastern Russia. Quick glance at the region here that I'm talking about. Multiple wildfires breaking out through the region, smoking out eastern Russia. Much love, everybody. Stay aware and prepared, and thank you for tuning in tonight. I hope you enjoyed today's update. Not much of a forecast here. Let's give a quick forecast here, brought to you by Windy.com. Hello, Anne-Marie M. Welcome to the stream. And thank you so much for letting me know that the music was on. I hope that didn't interfere too much with this broadcast. We shall see. But anyways, let's uh, give a quick look here at rain and forecast here for North America. Strong low pressure system here just south of Hudson Bay is going to continue to bring moisture and as well unstable conditions across the United States. Stormy conditions across the West as very warm temperatures Heat warnings even up into the Yukon right now. And this is going to continue the next few days. Scattered thunderstorms through Ontario. Stormy conditions through the foothills. And then Wednesday into Thursday, you've got a pretty large system moving through central United States and up into Ontario. Chicago could see some very extreme weather. And that is set to move eastward. No major tropical systems developing in the long range. Still lots of moisture heading through Europe. Apparently I need to sign in here. What's going on? All right, well, I'll log in with my Google. Give me just a moment, folks. There we go. Okay, so yeah, lots of moisture heading into Europe this week. Low pressure system right now over United Kingdom. Lots of monsoon rains for Southeast Asia and as well central regions through Papua New Guinea. No typhoons or cyclones to talk about in the long range. And still some very large and vigorous systems south of Australia set to bring in waves of moisture through southern Australia and Tasmania. Not much in the way of relief coming for northern BC and Alberta with the wildfires. Jet stream keeping things well north through northern BC and then coming in through the Canadian prairies. Long range forecast, that long lingering low is still across eastern Canada. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this update today. Hopefully the audio was not too disturbing there in the first little bit. I did not realize it was going. And again, thank you all for the love and support. I'm going to say hi to everybody that's in stream right now. There's 10 people watching, and it looks like Richard Smith is in the comment section as well. Anne-Marie, Dean Hill, and as well Vulcan, 
Thank you all so much for your help in stream and as well for being a part of this amazing community on YouTube. Keeping humanity aware and prepared here with daily events worldwide. Again, I hope you enjoyed the show. Please share, hit that like, and stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. Much love.